Hello everyone, today I'm going to show you about my rotation imaging. My rotation, any abnormal rotation of small or large ball which rotate separately during development. Rotation of dwindling small ball and sickle large ball are similar and differ in timing. A normality of rotation may be either or both. Most common sign symptoms in children, non virus or virus images, recurrent abdominal pain, poor weight gains, or maybe asymptomatic, adult, non specifics leading to chronic vomiting, intermittent colic, abdominal pain, diarrhea, plus or minus acute abdomen. Demographic, maturity present in first months of life, was maturity present by first few years of life, can present in two adults. One over 200 liver have a symptomatic rotational anomaly. One over 6,000 liver have symptomatic malrotation, prominent in male. More than 33% are associated with congenital anomaly. Patients with congenital with diaphragmatic hernia, gastric crisis, and on fire cells are almost always malotated by the rarely vulgarized due to post-operative application. In imaging, fluoroscopic GI finding. These three segments never cross as midlines on frontal view, often extend anteriorly on lateral view of upper chair. Jordanal Jordanal Johnson, right to rise of left pedicle and below Jordanal boot on two frontal view. Right ball degree of Calling malrotation with an animal sickle, sickle portion on animal or small bowel follow through, cross sectional, ultrasound, CTML finding. Do not non rotation, these three segments of domino fail to pass between superior mesenteric artery and aorta when crossing the left. Of midline. The reversal of normal SMA, superior messenger by portion, not reliable. Best imaging tool, fluoroscopic upper GI versus ultrasound debate. Latra upper GI in a three years old with history of non bilis vomiting, so anterior intraperitoneal force of the D3 segment with a low portion of DJJ below the terminal duodenum bump. Decaying abnormal rotation. From supine frontal view of the same patient, so a low DJJ below the renal bulb that failed to adequately cross the midlines, consistent with my rotation. However, there's no twisting or dilating. Relation of the moon 
to suggest um she we are touching like that. Set by small bar follow through was continued in the same patient to determine the sick portion and estimate the length of mesenteric pedicle. The sickle is high. And just left the midline, suggesting very short mesenteric pedicle that is a high risk of future um, GV. Public pyloric ultrasounds in um, 18 days with projectile non barriers vomiting, so a dilated stomach with the normal pyloric. This is a dilated duodenum, and the SMV lie directly anterior to the SMA or an abnormal configuration frequently seen in patients with malocation. Supine upper GI in the same patient, so the dilated obstructed duodenum. Up to a big and B2, B3, this often represent MGV until proven otherwise. Let band were found in this case. Supine water slope of contraction in mind in the five years old, former 31 weeks gestation to mature infant. So a high midline sickle with at least partial colonic malnutrition. The small bone dilation and small caliber column may be due to an intervening stricture from renal necrotizing enterobiotics. Treatment, blood procedure, and twist bubbles in brain, device blood bands in brain, a portion small or large intestine into rice and left abdomen, respectively. For operative and a patient, I expect it to secure below uh, bowel in place. Appendectomy, laparoscopy, which is laparotomy, laparoscopic lab procedure results in decreased period operative complication in fast recovery, but may yield in risk for operative loblets to get to open approach. Thank you.